don't know, schools in Canada open a fair bit later than the ones in America. So if you're watching videos like I am on YouTube right now about school, everybody's already in school. Like everybody's already there. Except for me. I start in three weeks. I'm starting to prepare today. Um, today is August 13th. Don't quote me on that. It's August 13th, I think. Today's August 13th. I start September 6th? Something like that. So I've decided that for the next three weeks, four weeks actually, all the content you guys are getting is school related. So I'm gonna have three weeks of preparation, three part series, one of me shopping, one of me organizing, and then like the final bits and pieces. And then the actual me at school is gonna be the finale, I guess? My last first day of school. So for those of you who don't know, I'm going into my senior year of high school. So today we're going to be shopping for this. I'm gonna stand awkwardly now. Yeah, so that's what we're shopping for today. Um, I'm leaving in like an hour, but that's the plan. But you guys are gonna haul when I get back. And then we're gonna prep the school supplies and pack my bag up. But basically, so I have a plan of attack. We're going to Spencer's first because I'm gonna show you this. Absolutely insane. I have my t-shirt cards that I started but never finished. So this one has two. This one has one. This one also has two. So I'm gonna combine them. And they have a buy one, get one 40% on their shirts right now. So I'm gonna get one free shirt because two and then I get a free one. And then there's three on three to get the next one. So I'm gonna get five shirts. And this is my plan because I want shirts because <laughs> I'm running out of graphic tees. Basically, I'm gonna go to the mall, go shopping there, and then go to Walmart to get school supplies. Then I'm gonna go to Staples and get other school supplies. And then I'm coming home and doing a haul. So that's the plan. Okay, so. I just finished up at, the mall, up at the mall and I'm walking over to Staples. I am right next to a bunch of oncoming traffic, so I'm being incredibly careful right now. But I went to a clothing store and then I went to Spencer's. Then I went to Walmart. And now I have clothes, t-shirts mostly, and some school supplies. So now we're going to Staples to get more. Yeah, that's the update. The bag is so f heavy. I'm to bleep that, but oh my god, I'm dying. Okay, so I've made it home. I've changed because we're wearing house clothes in the house. Starting off with my favorite purchase of the day is this bag. It's from Renwick. Like, look at this bag. It has, first of all, are you kidding me? This is amazing. Anyways, so it has a computer pouch, this big pouch here, and it has like a secret zipper pouch. And then it has like these pouches here which is where I'm gonna put my pins because I think they're gonna look really cute on like these pouches up front. And it's just magnets that hold them together. So then I basically, I take this and I like, <gasps> no! Basically I take this and I pull it really tight and then I put this down and I have my bag. Like it's so cute. It was also on sale and I didn't know that. I thought I was paying $55 for a bag, but it was on sale for 30. 30 so not to brag or anything but this is the best purchase that I've ever made but we're gonna put all this stuff in the bag I don't know why I went to go put it away when I knew damn well that was what I was doing we're gonna slowly load up my bag just because it takes up less space so starting off with a bigger item this is a one inch binder from pen and gear it's it's just one inch there's I didn't know there was pockets, 
but there are pockets. Um, it's just white. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a sheet of paper in here with like stickers or like a drawing, and that's gonna be the decoration. But yeah, that's what this is. Next, I have this five star folder. Um, it's just a two pocket folder. I did not look at these when I bought them. I was just like, okay, that looks good. And I put them in my bag. Basically, I think, is this what I think it is? Oh, perfect. Okay, so this is like an index card folder. It's like put like the index card in for like an index card pocket. I don't know if that's like focused, but like, I think that's what that's for. I'm gonna use it for that, but no. So I got this for my university course. We have a five subject notebook from last year that I ended up not using. Um, it's blue. It kind of looks a little bit lighter, but it's like a dark blue. Uh, yeah, so it's five subject. And then I also got a two subject notebook for my university course. Um, basically, I'm going to have the pre-lecture notes. Like, I'm going to go, if like, because it's in a lecture hall. I don't know if we're actually going to have lectures. Basically, I'm going to go over anything that's like on like powerpoints or anything by myself before the class put that in the first half second half is for actual like things that are said during the lecture handouts and then put the final notes on my ipad this is a i believe it's moleskin yeah a moleskin just lined paper notebook I had like seven of these. Uh, I used one of them last year as a sketchbook, which I'm kind of regretting because I need multiple of these, but this is like what I'm using as my composition notebook this year. Um, yeah, I think it works pretty well. It has a little pocket in the back that I can use for like handouts or like little mementos from the class, that kind of stuff. Probably can use it for like a writer's notebook kind of thing. That's kind of the plan. And then we have some filler papers five star heavyweight paper. Everybody who says college ruled paper is better is crazy because college ruled paper is just a really big margin at the top and I don't like it. It's so bad. Why do you like that? Like, like what you like, but you're wrong. Just my personal opinion. Um, and then we have graph paper because I'm taking a math class and there's a, I'm pretty sure there's graphing in it. I really hope not, but I have graph paper for it in case that happens. Um, then I have these index dividers. They were like $2 each. Just to put in my binders. I'm putting that over there because I don't want to put them together. Then here we have some new pens. Not pens, pencils. These are the Bic Velocity pencils, like mechanical pencils. I really like them. I've been using them for a few years. Uh, I got a new one because my I had blue and orange and I just don't really vibe with the colors anymore but also I use my orange pencil for drawing at home and my blue pencil I broke part of it so now it kind of stabs me and it's uncomfortable so now I have this um and it also comes with new eraser refills and I needed them so that was great then we have the one millimeter zebra gel pens um there's how many there's 15 in here i got this for seven dollars mind you these are like my favorite pens um i don't have to buy pens ever again like these are the best i use them for both art and for school um they're great i love them i got 5.7 gel pens which i use for like i used a 0.5 last year but i found it was a bit too skinny so i'm really glad i found a 0.7 um, but I'm going to use it for like actual like bodies of taking notes, whereas the other ones are like for headers and stuff. I should have introduced this before. This is my pencil case I've had for three years. Um, it's still holding up real well. Where I, Instead of my Jansport backpack. My Jansport backpack did not hold up, whereas this held up like a champion. I love this thing. We're going to prop this up behind me. Here is like the leftovers from like the lead from last year that I'm going to put back in there so I can fill them up. These are my lead refills. I got a pack of these like a few years ago and I'm still working through them. Get these leads. What are they? They're the, they're the paper mate. Like paper mate. Um, they're so easy to like dispense. Like it's just like a little match. Not match, a lighter. It works so well. Get this one. This is one of my erasers from my, like, I got a five pack of erasers and this is one that I haven't opened yet. So this one's going in there. 
Um, these are some, these are from Muji. Um, they're little like post-it flags. Uh, I took it from my friend. He's not getting them back. So I'm putting these in here now. Um, these are colorful annotation flags from Post-It. Um, I feel like I don't have to explain what these are for, but I have them. I use these to annotate like books and stuff when we do class reading, which I'm gonna be doing a lot of because I'm doing AP reading, AP Lang. So, speaking of annotation, I found the transparent sticky notes. There's 36 of them in this pack and I got it for $5, which doesn't sound like a good deal, but they're transparent and I'm not gonna use all that many of them. It's probably just gonna be for like my psychology class, like my AP psych, and then probably like a couple, I'm probably biology because they're probably gonna give me a textbook. Leftover whiteout from last year. I got pencil, a pencil sharpener because I've been out of them for a while, but basically, um, it switches between graphite and colored pencils, which is great for me because I use a lot of colored pencils um, and I haven't had a pencil sharp- fun, fun fact, I haven't had a pencil sharpener for four years. I lost it and I don't know where it went and I was just using like my family one and now I can't find any of the family ones. I think I lost them as well. Don't tell my mom. Um, but yeah, so now I can sharpen all of my pencils and my pencil crayons and I can actually do decent drawings. That is the haul of all of the supplies. So let's make them pretty. I have to make them pretty now. So we have these banana stickers and then we also have Hello Kitty stickers, which I don't touch the first sheet because it keeps it pretty but we have these stickers that I can use. The rest of them I can use. I just can't use the first sheet. But yeah, so we're gonna start by taking out, we're gonna start by taking that out. So now it's all nice and clean. And then we're gonna put the stuff in here. basically this all dealt with but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put a sticker in the top corner for each of these so we have to decide which sticker to put dealt with and then we're left with the cover now for those of you who don't know I have made a lot of art friends and one of them has made me a beautiful design and it's not done yet but this is the prototype design that they've made me Ugh, get away um, and I think it's super cute um, it's not done yet but it's so cool I have to put it there so I printed it off and I put the year for the school year and I'm gonna put it in the front of my binder I'm so excited I am so grateful for them I'll put I'll put their Instagram at on the screen right now everybody go follow them commission them all that stuff they're so cool she's literally the nicest person I've ever met go commission them right now yeah Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to put the Star Twins on this one. I don't know which one I'm going to put the Star Twins on. Because, like, I want to put the Star Twins down. I could do one on each. What I don't like is that they don't really match. So it would probably be this one and this one that I'd be putting down. I don't know which one to put on which. I think I might put the pink on the blue. Where did, where did I put it? Like right above the five star? I think I'll put it right above the five star logo. Oh, this is so stressful. I'm going to do the blue one first. Because I think pink... No, pink's going to go on black. This... Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then the pink one... 
Come on. Goes above the black one. There we go. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. That's so cute. That's so, oh, I love it. So I put the pins on the bag. I think it looks really cute. I don't know. I got this Raphael pin, Donatello, Leonardo, Michelangelo. And I have these two pins that my friend gave me. I got the bear. I don't know what his name is. But everybody knows this bear. Gloomy Bear, that's his name. He's cute. And then I have this. I got it because I thought it looked cool. But I don't know what it's from or what it's... Yeah, but I just think it's cool. I'm going to do research about it because I'm definitely going to get asked. Like, oh my god, like you... Whatever, and I'm going to have to figure it out. So I'm going to do research on the pins. But obviously I know TMNT because I'm cultured. But like, look at those. They're such cool pins. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me set up all of my school supplies. Stay tuned for next week where I'm going to be organizing my life a little bit for back to school. And then the week after that, when I'm doing, giving myself a little glow up for back to school. If you feel ever so inclined to subscribe, I would be so forever grateful. And I will see you guys in the next one.